Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today we're going to be talking about adding two digit numbers with regrouping again. Let's take a look at one of the problems we solved yesterday. So we solved the problem 27 plus 46. What was the first thing we did? Yeah, the first step to solving these types of problems is to write the equation into the place value chart. So we wrote that down. Then we add the ones. But when we added seven plus six, that's 13. So we have to think about 13 being the same as one ten and three ones. And then we place the three ones in the ones column and the one ten in the tens column. Then we add the tens. So we know that 27 plus 46 equals 73. Let's try it to solve a few more problems today. Okay, here's our first one. 19 plus 24. What's our first step? You got it. The first step is to write the problem into the place value chart. Let's do that now. 19 has one 10 and nine ones, and 24 has two tens and four ones. Yeah. What's our next step? Yes, our next step is to add the ones. So I have nine plus four. Let's do that together. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13. And I know that 13 is the same as one 10 and three ones. So the three ones go in the ones column and I put the one 10 into the tens column. What's my last step? Yeah, add the tens. Okay, so one plus one is two plus two is four, that's right. So I know that 19 plus 24 equals 43. Cool. Okay, let's try another one. What's my first step for this next problem? Yeah, I need to write it into the place value chart. 74 has seven tens and four ones. And 17 has one ten and seven ones. That's it. Okay, what's my next step? Yes, add the ones, four plus seven. Okay, seven and four make, that's right, 11. And I'm going to think in my head, 11 is the same as one 10 and one one. So I'm going to put the one one in the ones column and add the one 10 to the tens column. Now I can add the tens. One plus seven is eight, plus one more is, yeah, nine. That's great. Okay, and then I can write up the answer. 74 plus 17 equals 91. Very good. Okay, here's the next one to solve. 55 plus 28. Do you remember the first step? Yes. Place the add-ins into the place value chart. So the first add-in is 55, and it has, you got it, five tens and five ones. And 28 has two tens and eight ones. Yes. Okay. What's my next step? Yes, add the ones. Five plus eight. Let's do that with counting up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
So five plus eight is 13. And I know that 13 is the same as one ten and three ones. So I can put my three ones into the ones column. Do you remember what to do with the one ten? Yes, I place the one ten into the tens column. And what's my last step? You got it. Add the tens. So one plus five is six plus two is yes, eight. So I know that 55 plus 28 equals 83. Very good. Okay, one more to solve today. Do you think you could do it on your own? If you can solve this problem all on your own, Go ahead and pause the video and solve it by yourself. If you still need a little bit of help though, just keep the video going and solve it with me. If you did decide to solve it yourself, check the answer at the end. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. What do I do first? I place the add-ins into the place value chart. So 39 has three tens and nine ones. And 12 has one 10 and two ones. Okay, now I need to add. Nine plus two is 11, you got it. 11 is the same as one 10 and one one. So I place my one into the ones column and my 10 into the tens column. And now I add the tens, you got it. One plus three is four, plus one more is five, yes. So I know that 39 plus 12 equals 51. That was awesome. And if you did that by yourself, did you get it right? I hope so. You can always come back and do more math with me tomorrow. I sure hope you had fun solving these math equations. And I hope to see you again very soon.